What is up y'all? How are you guys doing today? So pretty much guys today we're gonna be doing something I've never really tried to do before. So pretty much guys I drove down here Maybe it was like an hour and a half to lower Delaware We're at this pond as you can see behind me I'm gonna be meeting up with my friend Austin and we are gonna be doing some crappy fishing today First things first crappy crappy everybody says it differently I say crappy you might say crappy now in my videos you guys have definitely seen me catch crappy before but I've not actually gone out and just like went out fishing for crappy specifically. So yeah, I mean, pretty much this is definitely gonna be interesting. And also, if you guys can see that behind me, that is a red van. I'm actually borrowing that car from my parents right now because my car is currently in the shop. So yeah, I mean, between getting skunked a couple times, between the car situation, it has been, uh, yeah. But that is all good, man, because I really do have a good feeling about today. Hopefully the sun comes out and it gets a little bit warmer out here. It's definitely windy, a little bit chilly. So let's see if we can find our target fish here for today. Here is the weapon of choice today. This is actually a shad dart that Austin created. We are putting these jigs under a weighted bobber just so that we could target those crappy who are suspended in the water column. And our mission here was to try to pitch this around trees, stumps, brush piles, just to find our target species. And we knew that once we found one, we'd find some more because they do school up. We just had to find out where they were hiding. First spot we were trying here was off this bridge. Now I guess there's some kind of sunken log or some kind of brush okay. pile down there. This seems to be a spot that like all of the locals hit, so uh, we just tried this out first, and it really did not take too long for Austin to hook into the first fish. Austin with the first of the day. Hey, that was pretty quick though. We're going down to the there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> First one, let's go. It actually took a while right there. Beautiful little black crappy. We're just out here jigging with some bobbers, some shad darts. That is the first one of the day. Honestly, guys, I really, really love black crappy and just crappy in general. It's like the pattern, like crappy are such a beautiful fish. Let's let this guy go here. He is a little bit small. We might be taking a few of these to actually eat. I've never tasted crappy before. Yeah, man, it seems like it's pretty good. Austin's already caught a lot. There he goes. All right, let's get some more. Sheesh. There we go. Whew. Another little one on the shad dart. Not too bad, not too bad. Man, these fish are just beautiful. Let me, oh God, they spied me. Not too bad, second one of the day. These colors, man. These colors are just like awesome. Let me let this guy go. Let's get some bigger ones, man. There we go, there we go. I was right where you had it too. It's like the same size. They're all like the same size right now. Yeah, he's on it again. He's on, oh, that's a nicer one, dude. That's a decent one. Come here, come here, come here. Let's go, double up. Dude, that's actually a decent one right there. Not bad, dude, that's not bad. These sunken trees look real good. Oh yeah, I got it. Oh, there we go. go. Yes, let's go, dude. That's actually a decent one right there. Yeah, up, up. Yep. It's not too big, but that's like, that's just pretty decent. Yeah, we are on them right now. I deal with them in hunting, I'm good. That's enough for me. Oh right! Oh, you saw that? That was right away. I know that. That if I could get it right to that spot, you got one. Yo, this is. Oh my god, this is a honey hole right here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh yo, that, that rod is bending right there. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's a nice one. That's probably the best one of the day. Yo, that is a nice one right there, dude. Oh. Is that another? Yo. Yo. Oh my god, dude, that is a fat. <laughs> Bro, I'm I'm about to freaking throw it right there. Yeah, that is that has got a fat belly. There we go. There we go. Oh, that feels decent. You got him? Yeah, something. There we go. What do I got here? What do we got here? What the heck? <laughs> that was a fat bluegill, but this is not what we're after here. That guy is really holy. He's a chunky one. Wherever I go, man, there's always gonna be some freaking bluegill. You see that though? It's not bad. I can actually like lip him, yeah. There we go. Yep. Nah, it's all right. It's a little baby. <laughs> it didn't feel that small, I swear, when I set that hook. Pretty, pretty fish. Look at that, man. That is, how do you, how do you compare to that right there? Let's let this guy go there. We are uh, currently fishing a very interesting way on this log right here. Yeah, we're, we're making it work. Let's get some more. I need a big one, dude. Awesome been catching on the dang big ones. There's something on it. <laughs> Oh god, I crossed it. He, he flew off. Yeah, that dude just flew. I thought it was a big one, I got excited, dude. <laughs> I felt bad for that fish back What do you mean? Like, felt bad? He just had the time of his life. Like, oh. Yo, they, I didn't even do that. He jumped on that one. That was pretty sick. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but this guy was actually hooked before. There's actually a hole right there, and mine is actually in the top. So as you guys can see, we did manage to find the fish. It was just so much fun actually catching these crappy because it was just 
I don't know man, as I said before, I've never really fished this way and specifically targeted crappy like this. So this was definitely a new experience for me and I just gotta tell you guys man, these shad darts that Austin made, these things were killer man. Every hook set was pretty much in the top of the mouth and yeah, I mean they were definitely just loving these shad darts. We kept losing a few because as you can see we're fishing like structure that's not too easy to navigate and also as you guys can see right here, I actually was surprised by this. I managed to hook into a large mouth bass. It was definitely a small one but I mean just to catch three species one day on the shad dart, it was just, it was just a good day all right guys well that was pretty pretty productive right there that was actually a pretty fun day now i gotta pick up all these rods right here all right guys so pretty much we did end up harvesting some crappy as you guys saw those weren't like the giant giants in this pond either remember selective harvest is always like what you really should be doing. If you don't really know what that is, definitely look it up. But yeah, man, we're gonna head over to the bait shop right now and we're gonna go fillet them. Yeah, man, I'm just that, that was awesome, that, that was awesome. All right, y'all, now I'm at Smith's Bait Shop. Let me get you guys in the loop really quick. They have some good people in here that actually create custom rods and uh, I actually met them when I was trout fishing at a local pond. Yeah, we got to talking, some time has passed and right now I'm about to go pick up a custom rod. I asked them to make me an ultralight trout rod. Trout season is coming up. Let's go, uh, let's go check it out, man, I'm excited for this. Starts with a blank like this. So from that to this. Yeah, all the info is going to be in the description for this place. Definitely highly, highly recommend checking it out, man. It's so sick. That, yeah, that rod is so nice. All right, so as you guys can see, that is sick. I'll leave all that info in the description. I'll talk about it a little later. But here we are out back. Austin's chopping up some of our catches from the day. Thank you again. No worries. Nice to meet you. Yep. See you also. Oh. oh, whipping the mini. Soccer mom mode engaged. All right guys, it is now the next day and we are about to try some crappy for the first time. I mean, I figured why not try it with you guys and I have my secret ingredient today. Last time I cooked, I used Cheetos and that turned out like amazing. Bang, Doritos. We're gonna be using the Cool Ranch ones because I do plan to be using some hot sauce with my crappy. Pretty much we're gonna be trying to make some crappy tacos like fish tacos but with doritos pretty much i mean just like last time we're gonna get some egg we're gonna beat that up then we're gonna get some flour and then we're going to grind these doritos up and just like i hope this is gonna be good man so welcome to another episode of cooking with first state <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into this. This looks actually really, really good. It's very, very, very crispy. So pretty much, guys, first thing I'm gonna be trying here is just this piece of crappy, just like, I mean, yeah, pretty much this is going to be me trying crappy for the very first time ever. Let's give it a shot here. All right, well, that is some good stuff right there, actually. You can definitely taste the crappy. It has, it almost seems like it has a little bit 
sweeter of a flavor than other fish that I've tried. I really actually really like it. Let me show you guys like how white this meat is. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is just like all white meat. That is like, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like fish sticks, but it's better than fish sticks. And you can definitely taste the Cool Ranch Doritos. Like that is, that just makes it a little bit better in my opinion. Cool Ranch Doritos are actually pretty good. I think they're actually one of the most unrated chips out in the market, but next man, let's try this taco. There she is in all her full glory. You can see the pieces of crappy in there. The cheese, I mean, this is pretty much everything that I would put on a taco that I would want to eat. Yeah, I don't know, man, the other stuff was good. So I'm expecting this to be really good, honestly. So let's give this a try here. Boom, that is 10 out of 10. Now I am a big hot sauce guy. Pretty much everything I eat, I put hot sauce on. And that, plus the cheese, plus a little bit of lettuce. I'm not a big lettuce guy, but I mean, on tacos, I'll eat lettuce. I mean, in this taco, everything just came together. As deer meat for dinner would say, everything just fell in love. And it's just, it's a really good taco, man. So that is pretty much going to do it here for this video today. Again, thank you to each and every one of you guys for all the support. Also, I'll leave the information to the bait shop and also Wally, who actually custom makes those rods and just, he fixes rods. He can make any kind of rod you could ever imagine. He made a Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl rod. He made like all types of rods. So anything you can imagine he can make and the prices are pretty good. So I'll put all that down in the description. Tell him I sent you. And by the way, guys, this is not like sponsored or anything. Like I'm not getting paid for this. They're just good people. I met them at the pond and it, it just happened, you know? So, I mean, don't think I'm like selling out or anything. Like I'm not getting paid or it's just, you know what I mean? It's just good people help good people. And there's some good people over there. I'm definitely excited to show you guys more of that rod and to use it more during trout season and just like the whole summer. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it here for this video today. Again, I really do appreciate all the support. All I gotta say is, man, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.